what I have for you today is a bench bleed of a new master cylinder. This one's leaking out the back side here. The one the car is. There's a seal back here on this piston. And it's leaking. And we're going to change it out. But first, you need to bench bleed. Now you can put this in the car dry. Hook up the lines. And, uh, you know, fill her up. But man, would you add a lot of air to the system. The brake system. So, the best way to do it, and the proper way to do it, is to bench bleed it before you ever put it on the car. So, this one's a Dorman replacement, actually. It's not an OEM. So, they were nice enough to give me a bleeder kit with it. Consists of these nipples down here, at each port. And there's one on this side. screw them in hand tight so they're snug and they even give you the brake tubes to uh, put into there so you basically just slip them on there like that and then you put it back up into here all the way down in there and so the end of it stays submersed in fluid at all times and repeat on the other side. Same thing. Stick it in there. So once you got both tubes in there, they're connected to each port. They even give you a retainer on here to make sure that they don't pop out while you're bleeding it. How nice of them. So that's nice. Now we need to fill the brake fluid to the top. Fill her up. And you'll be able to see it on the side there. I got it in the vise, ready to go. So just keep filling it until it's towards the top here. Something like that. You can see the tubes are fully immersed in fluid and we can uh, start the bleeding process now. So what I use is a brass drift as a tip to it like this and it fits right into there. Nice and snug, perfect. You're gonna wanna grab some rags, put it over the end of it, and then you just push in and out and it'll pump fluid out these lines and into the reservoir over and over and over again. Alright, let's see if I can get this on tape here while I'm doing it. You can see it pumping air initially and then it'll start pumping brake fluid. You can still see there's air bubbles in there. Keep going until you don't see any more air bubbles. Make sure your fluid doesn't drop beyond those straws. Just keep going. With the tooth being clear, you'll be able to see what's going on. It's nice. You can see now it's getting clearer and clearer. So once you got that initial bleed done and there's only fine bubbles, in this system. At that point we're good and clear to put it on the car and then we'll do a final bleeding on the car and uh, be all done then.